right, so here he is, longtime flyweight staple and former champion Davison Figueredo. Outstanding finisher. He can knock you out. He can submit you. The cardio has really started to catch up with the skill set, and fans are always excited to see this man. Always excited. I mean, he's one of those small guys that when we watch him walk to the octagon, you feel like something explosive can happen. And on many occasions, that's exactly what does happen. But for Figueredo to win tonight, he has got to be more willing to accept whatever comes to him in the fight. He cannot chase the knockout. He has got to be ready to defend takedowns. He's got to be ready to box. He's got to be ready to grab him. He wants to win again and head back towards the championship. But man, is he an absolute delight to sit down and talk to and to watch compete. And you can argue that were it not for the presence of one Davis and Figueredo, this UFC flyweight division would cease to exist. Big spot for the former champion tonight. Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Well, wherever in the world you may be playing, EA Sports UFC 5, good on you for putting this matchup together. Davison Figueredo, Demetrius Johnson at flyweight. This is a great fight. You have two of the best flyweights of all time. Demetrius Johnson may just be the most skilled mixed martial artist you have ever seen. And Davison Figueredo is a Brazilian powerhouse. He can knock you out. He can submit you. He can do everything. We didn't get to see this in real life, so I'm happy for getting to see it in EA Sports UFC 5. Oh, big elbow. Edge of his feet action as expected so far. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume two. Jab, right hand, body shot, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Effective use of the jab there by Johnson. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Davison Figueredo. in the 
Clinch lands that punch. He's going to get a It's tight. It's tight. Somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Oh, good defense. Yes. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Davison Figueredo gets back up here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. One minute here to go round one. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Johnson. There's the single. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He's got to be careful. Here. That was a slick transition. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. The arm triangle's getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the side of the lock and get the finish. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both these guys are very easy in the match. The match makers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit as he starts to feel more comfortable. Try to get the big shots off. Everything he throws in absolute power. And an amazing transition to the 2 0 throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, now it's getting tight. Working hard to finish this rear naked choke. He's doing a really good job of trying to get that choke arm on the head. You know, be kidding me. He's out. His work. There it is. Now he's running him out. Figueredo's trying for a submission here. That is tight. Arm still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. A lot of takedown defense, or sorry, submission defense. It's just being called and patient. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Good work from the top here by DJ. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Making all these shots count. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. A series of punches from the top here by Johnson. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Johnson's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Relentless pressure from the top by Johnson. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, yeah, he's got him. It's tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Johnson. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Seconds to go. Well, 
the ground and pound has been on point oh, tonight. Good work here by DJ. Good round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Figueredo gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great job moving in. Oh! Well disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning. But it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great grounding pound but very painful. Oh, looking for the submission now. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the key. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is great submission defense. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Spider Evan will reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Figueredo's pass is denied. Great work here from the bottom fighter. In the half guard. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Figueredo. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Figueredo's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. He saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Throw to your back. Give up the mount. But he'll live to fight another day. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Johnson. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys. But nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange You're like we just witnessed. Right. One guy almost submitted, right. one guy escaped. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of its martial arts. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. All right, right into side control. Yeah, he's trying to get to the darts here. That dart choke is tight. Oh, that has got... 
got to be it. Good work, guys. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that dark chip. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by DJ. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Johnson. That guillotine is tight. Oh, come on, that has got to be it. Oh, he got out. Oh, he, got out. he did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward and off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Figueredo. Another ground and pound strike lands. Well, the fighter's going to have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Good kick to the body. 15 seconds. Huge kick to the leg. 20 down, 5 to go. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth Go. and final round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice single. Figueredo's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Johnson ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. And there you go again, half guard. Close guard. Johnson's in half guard. Lands with the ground and pound. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Trying for a submission now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that fun flute choke looks locked in. Oh, he's out. Demetrius Johnson ground and pound from half guard now. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Oh, right into Mount. All 
right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Nice block. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Demetrius Johnson going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. You can either change ground and pound, or you can go to submission. Right now, it looks like he's trying to get to an arm triangle. He needs to push the left arm across the with his head. Oh, so now he got all back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-47, 49-46, and 49-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Well, no surprise, Demetrius Johnson gets it done yet again here tonight. This is a championship title reign that is coming up on like 2,000 days. Absolutely incredible. You know his future's in the UFC Hall of Fame, but you wonder just how long this prime can last because at least right now, it looks like DJ can rule this division for several more years. Dominant effort out of Demetrius Johnson here tonight.